So I am very seriously considering starting NaNoWriMo from scratch. Day two of NaNoWriMo. The lighting is still terrible because it is dreary outside and it's England. What are you going to do? We... <sighs> We're giving up on the first person POV. I'm not even gonna bother with it anymore. It caused me so much trouble yesterday. Writing in the POV is making me not like this story. And I don't want that because I'm very excited for this story. And I want my words to reflect what is in my head and first person is not doing that. So we're scratching the first person. Completely, utterly, it's gone, bye-bye. So we're gonna go forward with third person POV I'm going to write in my standard style in my standard third person and I'm just going to be changing content and voice to suit a 12 year old protagonist and to suit a younger reader I think that's going to be the easiest thing to do without me having to worry about ifs ands or buts doing first person correctly, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I just don't know, it's gonna work better in third person. That's my hope, that's my plan. Please work better in third person. The first few chapters have been really difficult for me to do, not just because it's first person, but because <sighs> it's not interesting enough. And I shouldn't be thinking about this right now because I'm like right at the beginning of drafting. This is stuff that I need to think about at the end once I'm done but I can't get it out of my head that it is not the right way to go so much so that I stayed awake last night lying in bed thinking about how to improve the beginning and I have it in my head how to improve the beginning how to speed it up make it more interesting and impactful for a younger reader who is probably not going to be as patient with things to kick off and get interesting as say an older reader for YA might be. So at the moment we've got Grace in the morning getting ready for school, she goes to school. We have like a paragraph of her at school and then she comes home and then she gets attacked by a wizard. I'm gonna throw that all out the window. What's gonna happen now is she's gonna be on her way to school and she's going to get attacked by a wizard. And then the story can progress from there. So it happens straight away at the beginning. I might tinker with it a little bit so we can see more of her personality and her friend's personalities as we go. But that's that's what I'm thinking needs to happen in order to speed everything up a little bit. And the debate needs to happen a little bit slower because at the moment it's literally 700 words of debate and then she decides to to do it and be the head of Abingdon House. I might also change that to sort of like, you have no choice, you have to be the head of Abingdon House, like, sorry, and then see how she handles it there. We'll see how it goes. It's been bugging me so much, so much so that I'm actually very, very tempted to just start over with the story. That's, that's, that's what I'm thinking right now. That's what I want to do. Oh, I shouldn't, I'm not gonna delete any words or anything. I'll keep the words I've already written. <laughs> But I'm really tempted to rewrite them now uh, in third person and then continue on the story from where I left off yesterday, which was the beginning of chapter six. I had just gotten to chapter six. That's my plan. That's my in my head. I shouldn't do it. I've already got to write 60,000 words in 10 days. I don't really want to be having to add another 6,000 words onto that, which isn't too bad. It's only an extra thousand words per day, which would make it 7,000 words per day. But again, should I, should I not? Is that the best option? Probably not. So I will see how today goes. I'll get my 6,000 words, see how I feel. And then I suppose I can rewrite the beginning chapters as I go throughout these 10 days or maybe leave it and do it afterwards. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> We are heading into chapter six now. This is after Hazel has decided, yes, she's going to be the head of Abingdon House. Chapter six is she is on her way to Abingdon House for the very first time. I need to make these go quickly. Like I've only got 60,000 words. I've got quite a lot of chapters planned. So my chapter length can't even be that long either. Like 1500 words really is my aim. 
up to 2000, but I want to try and keep them all similar. Just, I'm so used to adding extra stuff in and not like so little stuff. It's weird, but we're going to, we're going to see how this day goes. Hopefully inviting in third person is going to fix my issue and everything will be smooth sailing for the rest of this, for the rest of the days. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Let's get started. Okay, we are two sprints down. I'm currently at 1,433 words. Uh, I'm sprinting with the Sprint Discord team at the moment, which is absolutely fantastic because so much motivation. I love it. We're writing faster than usual. We're writing faster than we were yesterday. So third person seems to be working a lot better than the first person did yesterday. I'm not worrying too much about trying to make it sound like a middle grade. I'm, I'm trying my best to just write it like I normally write it. And that's working out a lot better. I don't think it sounds like a YA, which I want to try and avoid. But at least I'm getting the words down and I'm not upset at them sort of thing. So, yes we're good i'm making myself some more tea now because i need tea uh, i've got one more sprint now i want to get to 2000 words before i need to go out and pick uh, my husband up from work and then once i've done that i will have two more hours in which i want to hit between four and five thousand words before i head off to work so i've only got one ish k left to write after i get home <sighs> i'm not starting early enough and because i'm with the sprint team i'm not i'm not writing as much as i usually would it's not an issue but <laughs> i'm gonna hit a i'm gonna hit some live streams again after lunch Split my time between both places and then maybe some more server after work this evening but yeah it's going a lot better now that i'm not writing in stupid first person so hopefully hopefully it will stay like that okay i am back home from work i have had my dinner i have had my relaxation time and I'm sort of ready to write. Tea, and I have my cheesecake. And we have Kate Kavanagh's Twitch stream. Yes, we are in the middle of a sprint. Yes, this is when I decided to talk. Don't ask me why. Things are still a little slow going with writing. Um, not because of any issues I'm having with the plot or what is going on. Just I'm sort of like not 100% motivated to keep writing lots. I've still got like 2,000-ish or so words I need to write to hit my 6K, which I really don't want to write. But I need to write because I need to at least stick to my 6K word counts, you know. But I can catch up when I'm not at work and see what I do to myself. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna write and we're gonna see how I feel. <laughs> Please motivation stay. Um, giving up. I don't care. I just, I just, I just can't do it. I can't do it. I can't write anymore. I was forcing myself right there at the very end and I was like 4,000, like 827 words. And I was like, I just need to get to 5,000, just 5,000. And then I would write something and I'd check my word count and I'd be like 
5,807. <laughs> it's just like, no! And like every few words, I'll be checking my word count and just, just to hit the 5,000, just to hit 5,000 and be done. This month is not going to go as easy for me as I first thought it would, or as I hoped it would, or as I assumed it would. And <sighs> have I ever stretched myself with this 100,000 word goal? Maybe not. Have I ever stretched myself with this 6,000 words per day for the first 10 days? Possibly. Possibly. Um, yeah, we're, just, we're, we're gonna stop now and, um, we'll, we'll, we'll get back to it tomorrow and hopefully it will be better. It is day three of NaNoWriMo. I have absolutely no idea what is going on with my hair. Last night, I was like, you know what? We've had a first couple of days. It's been a little bit difficult. I've been a little bit demotivated Mommy. because it's... Because it's been so difficult. Tomorrow, third day, we're gonna, we're gonna do it. We're gonna get it, you know? Day two was worse than day one, but day three is going to be better than day two. And I had a very, very stressful morning. So my motivation was just below zero, below zero. I haven't quite been struggling to write. I have been writing quite well, not as well as I usually write. I've sort of lost all my skill at fast drafting at the moment. It's really bringing me down. I've written, I don't even know how long I've been writing for. Um, it's 12 o'clock. I've been writing since 10-ish. Just laid down on the sofa for like half an hour a minute ago with the baby. I've written 1,887 words so far today. I wrote that in about an hour. An hour of physically writing, I should say, not like a whole hour. So... While I can very easily write 1800 words in an hour, it's been slow going <laughs> because the motivation's not there. Because <laughs> have I recovered fully from Millwordy in September? I don't think I have, but I can't not write because now it's NaNoWriMo and I have a stupid goal that I'm unwilling to change. So I'm just gonna have to make do, basically what we're gonna do we're, we've entered the second act hazel and her friends are heading into the very first trial which i'm very very excited about so hopefully that's gonna be easier to write than everything else has been now that we're getting into the good stuff the interesting stuff the easy ability to world build my magical realism world that I've got going on so yeah I hopefully this lack of motivation does not last long and it because if I'm having trouble writing this I don't even want to know how much trouble I'm going to have writing project theft which is longer and more complicated and harder <laughs> than my middle grade is but hopefully it's just because it's middle grade and it's the first time I'm trying to write one so who knows? I don't have time to sit and analyse why I'm feeling the way I'm feeling. <laughs> I don't know. Let's just let's just get to writing, basically, and yeah. My washi tape is already peeling off my laptop and it's been there for like two and a half hours i may have to swap it over early 461 words can i hit 4000 in the next two hours let's let's pray and hope we can
We haven't even reached 4,000 words. <laughs> I've barely reached 3,000. Once again, this day is going absolutely terribly and I don't know why. And it's so frustrating that I can't write what it is I need to write. I need to leave for work now, which means, yes, I'm gonna have to write more when I get home, which I'm not looking forward to. So, I guess 5,000 words again is what I'm gonna attempt to hit, but I guess as long as I am writing over around 3,500 words, that is at least the daily minimum I need for a 100K NaNoWriMo, and I guess that is, that is all I can ask for. Like, I don't wanna get too upset if I don't do this first novel in 10 days. Oh, it's gonna annoy me if no. I don't, but I'm not gonna get too caught up on the fact that I don't. We're just, we're just gonna see how it goes. So guess where I am again today? <laughs> the garage, because my car is still not fixed. <sighs> Good morning, it is day five of NaNoWriMo. It is Thursday. Uh, I didn't do a very good job yesterday of vlogging. Car was in the garage, was stressing about that. Very stressful morning with the kids and school and difficulty writing for the beginning of the day, at least. We ended well. I had my live stream yesterday with Leah from Story Manifestors. Um, which I really did want to vlog, but I just, I just, I just completely forgot. But yesterday was a good day. We did 7,115 words or something like that. So day four has been better than day one, day two and day three. I think I'm finally getting into the story and the characters now. And I'm sort of understanding with myself how I'm writing. So I'm not as picky about the way I word things like I have been for the past few days. I've sort of grown used to it and accepted it now and I'm just writing at whatever I write. I'm also getting used to the shorter chapter lengths that I'm writing as well. That's has been throwing me off very much so. We are on chapter 14 at the moment. Hazel has just begun her second trial and hopefully today we're going to get chapters 14 through 18 complete, which will be one, two, three, four. That, that'll be roughly around 6,000 words. So yeah, we're gonna have some fun. England is now officially closed as of today. Yes, we are back in lockdown. Woohoo, at least the kids are still at school. That's little shining light right there but we'll see how long that lasts so yeah i've now got interrupted writing time for the entire rest of november which again bright side uh can't go outside and do stuff bad side but i don't go outside and do anything anyway so at least there's that we are on my third cup of tea of the morning already And we are about to get started with the beginning of chapter 14. So let's see how we go. Thank you. 
okay we have done really really well today i'm very very shocked that we did so well we got 6100 words written for the entire day i've gotten into the characters i've gotten into the story i've gotten out of my mindset of this doesn't sound right and i'm firmly back on top with my fast drafting i've gotten used to it again after months of just rewriting so smooth sailing hopefully from here on out I managed to get five chapters written, chapters 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18, which I'm super, super happy about. I got my 10K reward, which I posted on Instagram, but neglected to film as I ate it and watched The Owl House on Disney+. Plus. I had a Krispy Kreme donut, and my 20K reward, which I still need to give myself, is going to be a hot chocolate from Costa Coffee. They're not closed. I double checked. <laughs> so... <laughs> At some point, I'm going to let myself into one of those. I don't know what my reward for reaching 30k is going to be. Hopefully, I'm going to hit that tomorrow. If I write 6,000 words, I will definitely hit it tomorrow. But we'll see how it goes. Yeah, we, we're getting there. We're getting better. Not so much pressure and stress now that it's sort of becoming easier for me. So, yeah, they were my first five-ish days of NaNoWriMo. And hopefully, the rest of it's going to go just as well.